Hey. <laughs> so I don't know if, you know, well, I got 300 views so far or something. I mean, so there's a few people watching these videos. I guess that's good. Uh, but anyway, if you did watch the first video that I made, God, I guess it was back in June. I mean, it seems like a lifetime ago with the election and all the craziness that's gone on with the virus and everything else. But but anyway, this is where it all began. I was sitting in a chair right here talking about how I was the video idiot was going to try to make some videos. And I'm still the video idiot. I, uh, I recorded a video yesterday and I was trying to do it in 4K. I wanted to see what it would take. And it was a brief video. I mean, it's only like 10, 20 minutes long. And uh, man, I, it's been uploading for two days, man. I don't know what the disc limit is at YouTube, but they're probably going to cut me off. I mean, I, 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 so obviously, you know, this video, I bumped it down. I'm not doing 4K. I, I, and also, I don't think a lot of phones and stuff can handle 4K. I just thought, hey, let's make 4K. What the hell? Better resolution, right? So this is at 60, 60 MPS or something, and. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, you know, I watch, uh, I watch stuff. I'm trying to learn. I'm reading, and uh, there's just so much out there. Really, I'd like to take some college classes on all this stuff, and uh, they just, it just seems like, you know, well, you got to work through all the prerequisites, you know. And what the hell? I just, I just want to learn how to make videos, man. That's all. All right. So we're gonna head down. Gosh, I can't believe it. We're going back down. <laughs> into the Marshall Swamp today. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy it. I mean, I, but it's, uh, and it turns out it's a kind of a hot day for November. I can't believe it. I thought, but we've got to take advantage of the weather. It looks like we might have another hurricane coming to Florida. And I say another, we've avoided everything this year. It's been great. Um, but uh, this one might hit and boy, you know, when you get those streams coming in, it might rain two or three days. And so you got to get out and enjoy the weather. And that's what we're going to do today. Um, so anyway, let's get rolling. So this is a good sign. I mean, they've been back in here. Look at that. All this stuff's been trimmed off. And uh, that's uh, just getting you a view of the trail. So I'm, I'm glad uh, I, you know, I, I would come back in here too. But see there, there they've been tr trimmed. So uh, just kind of showing you, you know, that this is just the beginning of the trail. We're going to do a, a two hours today. Now, of course, I can't. <laughs> I would love to video everything, you know, and just put it up. I mean, but who's going to watch a, a hike of two and a half or three hours? I mean, that'd be ridiculous. I try to keep these videos about 10 or 15 minutes and just kind of show you some things and talk about things, you know, along the way. But, uh, yeah, I mean, looking good, looking good. I, I think it's going to be a nice hike. Man, what a difference, you know, 95 degrees down in here with high humidity. <laughs> <laughs> with, with a pack on and and of course my snake leggings and all that shit you know and now I'm back in here with uh, just shorts and a t-shirt and uh, it's uh, well it's a little warm 87 degrees or 82 maybe by now it was it was man it got up to 90 November my god so it does get hot here in Florida but see there you go they've been they've been trimming so this is a good, I think it's going to be a real nice hike today. I'll try to get, uh, unfortunately, like probably be filming some of the stuff I filmed in a video a while back, but you never saw it during the winter, so at least it'll be fresh for the winter you know, time. i got to be selective on what I pick, but, you know, I just want to show you once again, I mean, some of these trails, it's what a beautiful, easy hike with that sun coming in. Oh my gosh, you know, it's it's not like it's it's all brutal here in Florida. And uh, we're going to be diving down into the swamp, and i, I got to save time for, for that. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about the trip a little bit. You know, man, I, you know, as you know, I, I, <laughs> it took me three months to pack for the trip. I'm still unpacking. I'm still working on the cars. I mean, I, I just, just trashed everything. And, you know, I, gosh dang it. You know, you love your parents, but... You know they and they provide for themselves at least mine did and then they won't take care of themselves and so you end up trying to do the best you can for them and you know you give up I mean geez I guess I gave up almost five or six months of my life you know where I could have been playing tennis and just golfing and you know enjoying the, my younger years I say young I'm 57 with you know two-time cancer survivor who knows how long I'm gonna live and uh, you know just get, get yourself into assisted living. You know, you don't need the, 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 the children to come racing back to take care of you. And uh, so anyway, I made great progress on the cars. I, I did want to kind of, you know, if you do 
maintenance on your cars. There's a lot of things you can do. I bought new caps for the tires because the uh, those old plastic caps that come with the tires, you know, you can get them up on Amazon. They're actually made of aluminum and they do a great job of keeping the pressure in the tires for when you're doing a lot of traveling like I was. Uh, you know, just simple stuff like that. I got leather treatment. I'm treating the leather in my wife's car where she took an X-Acto knife to, <laughs> to the passenger side of the car. What the hell was she doing with an X-Acto knife in the car? I don't know. But, uh, you know, we passed it and of course it doesn't look good. I mean, you never, you know, you, you can't cut leather and then just try to, you know, put it back together. They did a pretty good job and uh, just stuff like that. I, you know, of course I waxed the uh, windows. You know, I don't know if you do, but, you know, that, especially that spray on wax works good for that. And then that, that water just beads up on the windows and just rolls right off. It saves your windshield wipers, you know, because they'll uh, they glide over that wax on the windows a lot easier. Uh, you know, of course, you got to do the air filter and all the, the normal stuff. Make sure your windshield wiper fluid's good to go. And so, you know, but anyway, I can't, oh, I, I wanted to tell you about this. Well, you know what, let's wait till we get down in the swamp. And uh, we'll get some video down there because there's just not a whole lot to see here other than easy right. trail. So we're we're down in here now, and I, I'll finish those thoughts. Uh, you know, there's a couple things you do in life. Uh, a new house. How often do you get that? I, I, you know, being military, of course, probably more often than than some. You know, we're down in the swamp. I just wanted to get the get the shot here. I think this would be a better uh, shot. Boy, I tell you. I, I've never seen a gator down here. You'd think there'd be gators everywhere, you know? I don't get it. Oh, geez, look at here. Yeah, see, this is washed out. <laughs> gonna get over top of this. Uh, they're gonna have to fix this, I guess. <clears throat> but, uh, all right, let's get over. <clears throat> so I'm looking at vehicles and, uh, you know, what I wanna do is I wanna, of course, my wife, she, <laughs> she's home watching the, the stupid election and I said well, you know what I mean just forget about it I mean whoever wins it ain't gonna matter because we're 27 trillion dollars in debt and both Trump and Biden don't seem to give a crap about you know spending uh, counterfeit money but that's just me you know so anyway uh, I got uh, two two vehicles I'm well three actually I'm looking at the Subaru Outback because it's got 8.7 inches of clearance and uh, you know me I like to go camping and I like to get back here and and do crazy stuff but at the same time you got to have a family vehicle and i can't you know i don't i'm not rich man i can't afford to have the jeep and tow it behind the, the hundred thousand dollar rv <laughs> you know, like you see a lot of people on the road you wonder where that money comes from that's pretty huge but uh so I, you know i got to make sure the vehicle's somewhat versatile and it seems like the subaru outback or the forester is going to be the next vehicle but man even then you're still looking at Good God, 30,000, 30, 35,000 probably, you know, and, uh, and and if you go into the, like the Toyotas or the Hondas, I mean, you're even looking at even more money. I, Yeah, Kirk, don't buy them new. Well, guess what? I'm, uh, I guess I'm a little uh, uh, old fashioned. I don't trust people, man. You know, people get them vehicles and they abuse them. And uh, I don't want a used car. I don't know, you know, if, if, if I knew somebody who had a used car and I knew it was gonna be in great shape, I would certainly buy it, but, you know, just buying it off of Craigslist or something, uh, you know, I'm sure, and a lot of people don't provide you the good documentation. You don't know if that thing's been underwater or, or what. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to get, oh, man, check this out. <laughs> oh, wait, right, let's, uh, well, all right. I tell you what, let's get down to the bridge, and then I'll tell you my latest conquest. All right, so One right second. for the bridge, you could picnic on that table, huh? Yeah, I bring something back here and uh, scrape it all off. But, uh, you know, we're in the swamp. <laughs> they, just, they just don't get that many people back here. But I was going to tell you, man, Honda has made this. Uh, and I, I'm not a motorcycle rider. I, I, as a kid, you know, I rode many bikes and stuff. But that was about it. And never got into them. Uh, but I've always wanted one of them new scooters. Because they'll go 55 to 70 miles an hour. If you, hell, you can get up to the 600cc and go 100 and 150 miles an hour if you want. Uh, and they're automatic. And so I didn't want to be dealing with, you know, learning how to shift the gears with my foot and you know plus all that weight i mean i i respect these guys that ride them harley davidson's but i don't think i could do it i mean how the hell you lift up a thousand pound pike i mean they got their techniques they get down and they put their arms on it and they shove back and lift that thing up i don't, I don't want to get into that but anyway honda's got this new adv 150 2021 and it's got uh, five inch shocks on it and uh, i just think that's going to be fun 
Uh, well, we're getting sunlight in here. Let's take a look around. Hold on. I'll talk about the, the bike. I'm going to move it slow. I've, I've kind of learned in the videos to, to keep the phone moving slow because I get, I get a little carried away and you know what I want to show you because the length of these videos gets, gets too long. I mean, I don't remember the, the summer video, but we were right here. Uh, but anyway, this ADV, man, it's going to be perfect because what you can do is take that thing down, you know, go camping and bring it with you, you know, maybe on a little trailer, you can rent one at U-Haul. And, uh, and then, you know, you can get on that thing and just go way back into the forest uh, on all sorts of dirt roads. It's almost a dirt bike. I mean, they, they, they got some videos of that thing six feet in the air jumping over shit. And I think that's going to be great, man. So uh, I can't wait to get it. Um, you know, once my mom is, is settled or dealt with uh, up in Virginia, uh, I'm going to be selling the cars and probably getting that Forester. Uh, I, I like the Forester because it's real easy to get in and out of, but the Outback's nice too. And my, my, it drives more like a car, the Outback does, and my wife might want that. And, and then I just get rid of and just have that, uh, that um, uh, scooter for going around town. Lots of storage on it. I can go pick up groceries and tool around. I mean, you know, and I can go 55 miles an hour on it. It takes a motorcycle license, the same thing. you got to get a license plate for it and all. But uh, that's kind of my where I'm heading. And man, imagine the videos I can get on that thing. We can get way back in the forest. I mean, you could you could ride that scooter. I'm, I'm actually I'm going to bring my mountain bike back in here someday. I probably won't film it. But uh, this is a great mountain bike trail. I, I don't hope the mountain bikers don't uh, don't look, watch these videos because you know it's nice to be back here by yourself and just enjoy it. But. Uh, all right, well, we'll wait for the next bridge, and uh, I probably got some other thoughts. Uh, All right, we'll get so into we're on there. the second bridge. And that's as far as I got <laughs> that day in the 90 degree. What a difference. I mean, I'm not even hard. I mean, I'm sweating, but did you see that big bird? Oh, man, I don't know. I, I hope I got him. You know, it's kind of, I don't know what it was, but he was monstrous. That's one thing we got here in Florida. They're like pterodactyls, man. And, uh, so yeah, I, you know, and, and by the way, I see nobody. I mean, I'm back here by myself once again. I, I can't believe that, that I have this resource available within 20 minutes of my house and nobody ever comes back here. Of course, I always worry, you know, if this bridge is going to like collapse on me, you know, who the hell inspects these to make sure they're okay. Uh, but yeah, let's just, oh, I'm sorry, I swung around a little too fast probably. Um, don't you deal with a video idiot. That's why I call myself a video idiot. And uh, just beautiful, isn't it? Love being back in here, especially on a nice day. It's a little human. I mean, you're in a swamp. I mean, what the hell do you expect? And uh, But I was talking about that Honda ADV. I mean, that thing's with the shock absorbers and all. I can take that. I mean, I'm going to do some serious uh, 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 off-road biking on that thing. And I, and Judy, she's my, my wife. She's going to be pissed off because <laughs> I'm behind it. It's 4500 and I, uh, but I, you know, and of course I'm going to get it before I sell the cars because I got to wait on my, my mom's situation to get resolved. Um, and then once, once her situation is resolved, I can at least sell one of the cars and I'll just use that for getting around town. And then she'll have the, uh, well, right now she'll have the Sorento that I pumped uh, $1,400 into because uh, of the transmission sensor. That's a Korean uh, car problem, and especially from 2012, 2013. I've had to replace two of them now. And, uh, you know, they, they really should uh, have recalled that uh, aspect of the vehicle. But, you know, who, are you going to fight that battle? Are you going to hire a lawyer? You know, I don't have, have $5,000 to pay a lawyer, you know, uh, $250 an hour to, to fight that battle. So, oh well. All right, so we're going to wait. There's another, there's a third bridge coming up, and we'll get there pretty soon. I just kind of want to talk about the trail just a little bit, you know, when they when they cut this trail in I mean, they really did a fantastic job. Look at this. It kind of winds around so it kind of gives you that sense of adventure like Ooh, what's around the next turn, you know, and so it, it's not like a straight shot through the swamp Which I imagine they could have done but uh, whoever put it in they they I, I'd love to, to meet them or, or know who they are But you see how it's kind of winding and it makes a turn and then it makes a turn and then it makes a turn and uh, by the way, that tree in the first video, it's gone. So they, they've been back here doing maintenance, obviously. And uh, it's a real, real nice, easy hike if you don't mind being down here by yourself in a swamp. <laughs> so, that, hell, this might be the tree. Remember remember that first hike through the swamp? I think this is it. Holy moly. Yeah, see, look at, look at all the work they did. They just piled it on the side, but what the hell are you going to do? I mean, so that's cool. 
you know. Um, but I just kind of want to get you a feel for the trail and why, you know, when you cut these trails in, you don't want them going straight. You got to get that sense of adventure uh, as, as it winds and turns and, you know, who knows what's around the next turn. Ooh, there's a little bit of cobweb. See, I get to making these right. videos. I just tripped right over that sucker right there. Fell down. Luckily, a nice soft mud. So I'm all muddy now. When the hell let's keep going. So I kind of wanted to show you this, and you know, it's understandable why you know your average hiker doesn't want to come back in here. I got my hikers on. Check them out. You know, you wouldn't want to be back in here with tennis shoes. It is muddy. And by the way, it's been really dry here in Florida for, for about a week. And so if it's this muddy, and boy, if that hurricane comes through, you're not going to be able to hike this. It'll be wet and muddy. That's one of the problems with having a trail through a swamp. <laughs> but, but boy, look at the maintenance they've done. They've really got it really looking great. And uh, we'll be coming up on that next bridge yeah, here soon. I wish I could just film the whole hike. I mean, it's just so amazing. Yeah, but I always try to just show you interesting stuff. So there's a fence back here. And, you know, I'm deep, deep, deep in the swamp. And I'm like, what the hell is that fence for? I mean, maybe there's some private property back there. But uh, you can see, I mean, you know, who the hell, <laughs> who the hell's going to go through that fence? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 and it's pretty new. I mean, what the hell? They spent a lot of money putting that fence in, I guess. Maybe they thought people were going to go off trail and hike up onto their private. You can kind of see it back there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Anyway, can you see the fence? Yeah, see, that's fairly new. That's not rusted out at all. What the hell? I, I don't get it. Maybe it's a secret government installation. You never know. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I did make I forgot in that first video I made it to the bridge. And, uh, man, you can see it's, it's still muddy back here. I wouldn't want to... You know, at this time of the year, I guess, uh, I mean, I just remember things being a lot drier, maybe up in March, I suppose. And you can see they've done a little bit here. Look at this. They put these boards in. This is good. Um, I, so that you don't have to hike right through the mud. And uh, this, <laughs> this was actually where the first video stopped. And uh, boy, it is muddy back here. I would not want my mountain bike back here just because, you know, what are you going to, I mean, I'd have to take that thing home and clean the hell out of it. And, you know, what the hell, I don't mind getting my hikers muddy, uh, you know, I just, I take those in the kitchen sink, I don't know, I don't, I, we, <laughs> we actually have one of them, boy, if you don't have a tub sink, I'm going to tell you what, you got to have one here in Florida to wash everything, because, you know, no matter where you go, you're going to get muddy, but, uh, so this is where I, I did that final video, I, I remember I was so hot, oh god, that was a rough day. But, uh, boy, I proved everything out, huh? And, 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 well, it didn't quite work out for the trip. I mean, if you watched any of my trip, I, I thought I prepared for everything. But the one thing I didn't do was prepare for the cold weather. Who would have thought I'd be so long up in Virginia that it'd be 20 degrees at night. You know, and all I had to do was throw another sleeping bag in the car. And, of course, that tent, I didn't waterproof that tent properly. And I thought I had. And I worked hard on it. And I spent a week in... Anyway, all right, so let's uh, let's keep on going. Um, hey, uh, just just a quick quick thought while we're while we're moving along is uh, you know one of the things I've been doing with the virus and uh, just in general is you know every month I try to to replace things. You know, we I guess that you know when we moved from Michigan to Florida, um, it was a big deal. I mean, we had to downsize. We had we had huge amounts of stuff, and so I, my goal was every day I took stuff out of the house and uh, and just got rid of it. And uh, I mean every day, every day. It could just be one little item, and I made sure I recycled it all properly. And uh, I, uh, I and so you know here in Florida, you know a lot of stuff we brought with us. I'm like, what the hell? Like I had the step ladder, and I had taped wooden legs onto the step ladder you know how stupid can you be and so you know I, i'm looking around the house and i'm going okay with with the debt you know 27 trillion you know if we do get hyperinflation or something crazy you know what are the things around the house that i want to replace and uh so immediately that step ladder came to mind because i fell i actually fell in the driveway uh, luckily i didn't brain myself obviously i'm still alive but i could have you know, when you think about it, I mean, I'm 57, you, you fall off a ladder, that's a big deal. And so I'm like, why the hell am I keeping this stupid step ladder? So I replaced it. I mean, I'm going to tell you what, I don't regret the decision at all. I bought a really nice uh, step ladder. You can get them at Home Depot, of course. And I mean, they, you know, take your pick, you know, do your research and, and get what I'm just throwing out one, 
one item, you know, so today, here I am, we had this canister vacuum, just went through a cobweb. Ugh, I hate spiders, man. Woo, arachnophobia, arachnophobia. But, uh, so, uh, I'm out vacuuming the car, and, you know, it's making noise, and smoke starts <laughs> coming out of it. I mean, we've had this canister vacuum for God knows, I don't even, I, I guess, probably since I moved in with my wife back in 2000. So, what's that, 19 years? So, I mean, it's due. I mean, you know, so... What the hell? So now I'm going out and I'm researching vacuum cleaners, but I'm, I'm just going to tell you, you know, with the, with, with all the uncertainty and, and everything that's going on, you know, look around, see what you can uh, get rid of. Number one, most, most importantly, get rid of stuff. Simplify your life as much as you possibly can. I, I've consolidated. You know, I was before I went on the trip, I had to consolidate all our investment accounts into Fidelity, and I got still got one at E Trade, um, just to make things uh, simple. Of course, I bought. You know, lots and lots of uh, silver and gold and platinum ETFs, and uh, just just to pre preserve. I'm just trying to preserve our retirement. You know, I don't I don't want to get out there and take a huge risk on the you know the stock market. Of course, I missed out. I mean, I got friends. They bought Tesla. They made a shitload of money, man. I I I, I envy them. I mean, that's cool. You know, they were like, "Kirk, you're a fool, man. Why are you why are you sticking with gold?" And then, by the way, it's Sprott, S P R two O T T. They're out of Canada. You know, don't trust G L D or S L V. Um, those are the Comex, and uh, I think they're more paper than, than actual metal that backs those up. And when, you know, if things do get crazy, you know, they're, they're not going to have the gold and the silver to back them up, and you're just going to lose your money. But uh, that's just me. I, this is not financial advice, YouTube. This is just my opinion on everything. That's what I'm supposed to say, according to a lot of videos that I watch. But uh, anyway, so we're, we got through the third bridge. Now we're going to come up to a lookout here. And then we'll get out into a parking lot, and uh, that'll probably be about it for the day. You know, I might take some more videos, thoughts creep into my head, but it's just getting too long. And, you know, you got to keep these videos somewhat short. But I guess you got a good feeling of that sun just glancing through the trees. Oh, isn't it beautiful back in here? I haven't seen a single person. I mean, I've been hiking, what, an hour, hour and a half? I mean, it's just me back here. If I have a heart attack... <laughs> they, they, they're never going to get the ambulance back here that's for sure and then you know some of the locals they'll tell you stupid stuff like oh you know the snakes the snakes the snakes who gives a crap about snakes you know i mean i got my my hikers on now, whoa check him out whoa i almost walked right into this guy let's get him on the... oh man I, arachnophobia man arachnophobia oh man i can't believe i saw him thank god now i gotta knock this down and get through here. Let's let's really zoom in on him. Can you see him? He's kind of blurry. Maybe if I back off a little bit, move the camera. Oh, see, this is this is where I. I mean, he's a little guy, but I don't know. I mean, maybe if that guy bites me, I mean, who knows what will happen? All right, so let's let's get through here. Holy moly! I thought maybe somebody would have hiked this trail today. I must be the only person that's been on this trail all day. If you've got a cobweb right, like so that, a couple little video right. idiot things here. Um, this is a little side trail. Um, I've hiked it. I'm not gonna do it today. I'm going through cobwebs. What the hell? I mean, I cannot believe with the beautiful weather that we've got that nobody has hiked this trail but me. Well, like I said, I haven't seen anybody. I've been back here now an hour and a half or so. And uh, but that's. Uh, I just want to show you that trail. Uh, oh, hey, another video idiot. Hey, you video making people out there. Uh, this little button on the Samsung that you know you do to dark the screen. Uh, it actually cuts the video off, so now I don't have to turn the video to hit that button on the back or anything. You just hit this button right here and watch this. It'll just okay, cut it right sorry off. Sorry about that. That's fun was zoomed. <laughs> like I said, video idiot. But that little button up on top, that really makes things easy. As far as we're going to go today, it's, uh, I don't know who the hell invented daylight savings time. It's the dumbest thing. I think there was a push in Florida to get rid of it. So it gets dark so gosh dang early that... Uh, you know, I'm just would be screwed to be back in here when it gets dark and it's getting you know, almost almost four o'clock and uh, it is going to be probably dark before I get back out of here. Uh, but I did want to show you this and this is as far as we're going to get today. Trail continues on that way and uh, there's a parking lot down there and what I might do is there's, there's another portion of the trail that goes off this way. And uh, I went in there and I did some maintenance. Unfortunately, the chiggers. Man, I tell you, those things are vicious, man. They got they got a hold to me, even though I was back there. I was in the summer. I was just wanted to come in and do some maintenance, and because uh, I try to do a little bit for the trail, because I enjoy it so much. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not with any trail organization, but uh, I did want to show you this. Look at this, man. 
See, I, I've been down here in the wintertime when there was no water. This is just, this is just dry. So you can see how wet it's been. And I love this little lookout that you can come out and kind of see the, look at all the, I mean, they look like stalactites, you know, just sticking up out of the water there. Uh, another spider, check him out. Oh, geez, you know, they're everywhere. I tell you, that's one thing. You can see, I guess I'm trying to get him. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you could see him or not. I'll, I'll have to look at the video when I get home. But he's right there. All right. So, unfortunately, the, 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 the least fun part of making these videos is the hike back. Um, and uh, so we only got so far down in here. Maybe I'll have some thoughts on the way back that, that I can think about uh, that I want to share with you. But a uh, really nice touch. I mean, I'm glad they got this little bridge here. And, uh, well, you can tell, I mean, the thing is, I, you know, a lot of these trails, I don't know why they put wood in. You'd think they would use some sort of um, uh, composite or, uh, or a vinyl or something that would last. Because, you know, this wood here in Florida, it's just going to rot out quick. And, you know, they, then they got to spend the money to replace it again. And I don't think the, uh, the that's what I made my porch out up in Michigan was this, this uh, I don't remember, veneur. I can't remember what it was called, but, boy, it just lasted forever. And, uh, you know, this, this wood is just going to rot, even though I imagine it's pressure treated. And here's, look at these dumb, stupid guy, people. You know, why are you going to carve your initials and, and de deface the work that other people have done? You know, don't do this stupid stuff, man. I hate that. Um, but, all right, so let's head on back. That's enough for now. Check this out. I'm going to hit the button again. So here's another thing. You know, I hate these stupid people. I mean, obviously, somebody brought their dog back in here. And, you know, it's a very limited hike trail i mean i'm the only one here today but don't leave that right in the middle of the trail that's just ridiculous you, know, you i got a dog i i pick up after him i don't like it but gosh dang it you know people just just use some common well, sense this is not a good sign i thought this time you know by november the trail maintenance crews would have been back in here and i do some maintenance myself i mean i come back here and and, and do what i can to help with the trails just just by myself but Anyway, let's, uh, well, it could get interesting down here in the swamp. Let's see what happens.